Meanwhile, two top unions, including one who backed Clinton early in the 2008 cycle, have decided to delay their endorsement. Let's look at those numbers first of all. Mike, I, I, I'm personally shocked that it's bunched up this quickly. I, I am actually stunned <laughs> at those numbers. I would never have uh, guessed that. 3325, the vice president has shot up from nowhere without even announcing. Uh, the Clinton people, I'm told, are making a concerted effort to keep him out of the race by sending all sorts of signals that uh, he will be vulnerable to this attack or that attack, but he is not even an announced candidate. And, and, and Willie, the unions now holding back, as Mika just reported, and waiting for Joe Biden. Yeah, we've heard unions, some African-American voters saying they want to wait to see what Joe Biden does before they get in. I mean, the more these numbers come out, I know we can't see into Joe Biden's heart, but how can you not look at some of these polls and say, I can win this race if you're Joe Biden on the outside? And I know Mika's going to get into this, but now we know this cloud of the email story is going to go on for months and months. And oh, months. my God. And, and it just blew up yesterday. In fact, Phil, it blew up in the middle of a Des Moines Register uh, interview uh, with, with the editorial board where Hillary was just completely flummoxed and had to say, I have no answer for that. There's a big question now, and it's a Washington Post report coming out. There's a discrepancy in terms of when and why she actually turned over her emails. And the Washington Post laid out that she had been asked to turn over her emails basically once people started looking into the, the Benghazi investigation, which happened to be about three months before the other secretaries of state were asked to turn over their right. archived emails. The Clinton campaign has said from the beginning, Hillary Clinton has said from the the beginning she turned over her emails when they asked all of the former secretaries yeah. to turn over her emails even after this story came out right even with the Clinton campaign yeah. statement oh, yeah. there's no kind of clarity to why there's a discrepancy there and I think we also reported Bloomberg News reported last night that the FBI uh, was able to start recovering some of those deleted emails, emails from you, you her know, you're actually you're killing Hamlet in the first act because Mika is about to read that's all okay. of these stories no, oh. but, that's no, no but, there's, no, but this <laughs> is it but, but, but you're right though but let, really quickly about the poll the poll numbers uh, does that surprise you a quarter of Democrats are leaning Democrats going after or being willing to back somebody who hasn't even announced yet is a surprise. Yeah, I think that's... the other thing that I think we've been paying attention to right now is the favorability ratings. Obviously, Joe Biden's going to have high favorables now. He's not in the race, but he's yeah. at 49%. Hillary Clinton at 38% on favorability. That's down 10 points in just four months. And so that continues the trend line we've seen on her favorables. But Joe Biden right now, for any number of reasons, yeah. whether it's due to his time as vice president, right. whether it's due to what's happened with his son, people like him right now. Democrats want him to run. Yeah. And he's now a major issue. So let's go through this because you touched on two of these points. The FBI has recovered some of Hillary Clinton's emails off her private server, according to Bloomberg Politics. Bloomberg reports the Bureau has recovered personal and work emails that had been presumed to be deleted. And Politico reports more previously undisclosed State Department emails, about a dozen related to Benghazi, have surfaced in a federal court filing. According to Politico, most of the documents also appear to have been withheld from State Department response to House Select Committee on Benghazi. A State Department spokesman says the department has made every effort to cooperate. And while Clinton has always characterized her participation in turning over email from the server to the State Department as routine, officials are characterizing it a bit differently. According to the Washington Post, citing State Department officials, the request was not about general record keeping, but was spurred entirely from the discovery that Clinton had only used the private server. Yesterday, Clinton was asked to explain the discrepancy to the Des Moines Register. All I know is that they sent the same letter to everybody. That's my that's my understanding. So the Post is reporting now that there's you know that this, there was some question about whether the server was permitted and whether it's a copy. You know what? I'm sorry. You're t you're telling me something I don't know. All I know is what I have said, and what I have said is it was allowed. The State Department has confirmed that the same letter went to, as far as I know, uh, my predecessors, and I'm the one who said, hey, I'll be glad to help. I mean, but we'll you know we'll we'll give you additional you know information as we get it. Boy, uh, Willie, uh, so much happened yesterday, it's hard really to keep track. Mika just blew through uh, some stories uh, that, you know, we, we only have three hours. Mm -hmm. But you could untangle the, uh, a lot of these threads for, for three days, whether it's the State Department finally having enough.
And they have been pushed to the wall enough. Yeah. There are other things that are going to come out, I'm pretty sure, pretty soon, and, and talk about how her story is just not correct. But this is one of them. Oh, they just sent it to all the Secretary of State. No, it was all concern once they discovered she had her own private email server. Congressional subpoenas being ignored. We've been hearing uh, conservatives complain for several months that there was a gap uh, during the time of the Benghazi attacks and the emails produced yesterday somewhere on earth that she didn't produce, that the State Department didn't produce, and other stories. A lot coming out. Uh, for a campaign that wants to get on to other issues, the headlines just keep going, and this FBI investigation just keeps churning. Well, on the Washington Post story, you had the State Department now on the record. John Kirby, the spokesman who we have on this show all the time, had to, he's on the record. These are not sources talking out of the State Department right. saying, no, we went after this because of something specific with Hillary Clinton. We wanted to investigate that. On the FBI question, we've always asked, who got to decide which of the emails made it to Congress and which emails were kept and marked right. as personal by Hillary Clinton. 30,000, she said, were personal. Well, now the FBI has access to those, and they can go through and decide if any of those were work-related, if any of those were classified. So now it's in the hands of the FBI, and we don't have to take Hillary Clinton and the campaign's word for what was in those emails. Mike, obviously a lot of Clinton supporters feeling defensive right now. We certainly can see it in our emails and our Twitter feed. Anybody reporting on this story can certainly see that as well. But we are all hearing, just like we hear things from the State Department, which come out later. Um, but I certainly am hearing, I'm sure you're hearing, everybody that I talk to is hearing from Democrats, powerful Democrats, a rising concern about Hillary Clinton, uh, about this in FBI investigation. And they're looking at Joe Biden. They're looking at Bernie Sanders. They're looking hard at other options. Rising concern, your phrase. Is put it in mild. Well, it is. But if I said anything more, they go, "Well, he's just a yeah, Republican no, saying I... that." It's near panic for a lot of Democrats who want to win the White House. The, there's a huge gap between the reality of what's in these emails. We don't know, and the perception of the emails themselves, which is devouring her candidacy. The perception around the emails is devouring her candidacy. And she can't seem to get ahead of it or get out from it. Uh, again, the emails that uh, are in yeah. contest, we don't know. We don't know what's in the emails. But you hear from an, any number of Democrats. You, I heard yesterday that Jerry Brown, the governor of California, was considering entering the race because of the email controversy and because of their, their doubts about the strength of Hillary Clinton's candidacy. So she's trying to keep it on policy. Right, but, but, but we just don't know what's in the emails. We do know this, though, Mike. Her story has been inconsistent. It has been wrong. She has had to reverse herself several times. And, it, and, and Mike says we don't know what's in all the emails. I think we'll find out. But when I first became a lawyer, um, I, I was told, tell the jury everything mm -hmm. about your client. Right. If you don't let them assume the worst, tell them the worst right up front, mm -hmm. and then they'll work with it. Mm -hmm. If you don't, they'll always assume the worst, and that's exactly what's happening here. Maybe they're all about yoga. You never know. We'll see. And, um, and wedding So pictures. she's trying to keep it on policy. She's declined to take a position on the issue for months, but now Hillary Clinton says she's opposed to the Keystone Pipeline. Clinton's delay has left her in a tough spot with many Democrats since the project is supported by some major labor unions but opposed by environmental groups. Here's a look at the evolution here and how she came to this point. This is President Obama's decision, and I am not going to second-guess him. So I want to wait and see what he and Secretary Kerry decide. If it's undecided when I become president, I will answer your question. <laughs> I have been waiting for the administration to make a decision. I thought I owed them that. I can't wait too much longer. And I am putting the White House on notice. I'm going to tell you what I think soon because I can't wait. I thought they would have it decided way, you know, way by now. And they haven't. And I feel now I've got a responsibility to you and other voters who ask me about this. And I think it is imperative that we look at the Keystone Pipeline as what I believe it is, a distraction from the important work we have to do to combat climate change and, unfortunately, from my perspective, one that interferes with our ability to move